All right, Kim and Robin. This is the one on Westlaw Entrada. Um, you know, in need of some front yard landscaping. But that's the entrance. The lot continues over here. Um, I'm going to walk through the house and give you a little tour. So, this courtyard could be really pretty, I think, with some gardening. The seller's um, dog is here, so if he barks, I apologize. Going into the front door. Here he is. Um, brick floors, radiant baseboard heat, um, wood beams. This is an older adobe home. Um, so to my straight ahead is a bedroom, closet. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and go there. It um, would make a nice sitting room or could be a guest suite or used as a bedroom. Through this bathroom... You actually end up in the laundry room. Okay? But I'm going to go back out. And I'm back at the front door. So as you walk in the front door, to my right is the living area, the puppy dock, the kitchen, dining room. Um, again, beams. Kiva fireplace. Kitchen has been redone. It's a nice kitchen. Um, it does have a pantry area. Looks out onto another sitting area. the dining room, the pantry, double oven, gas, four burner with the microwave, fridge, a little desk, and then again the laundry room that you already saw. Um, if I walk through this living room, I want to take a minute to show you the ceiling. It's a very high ceiling, beautiful fireplace. There's an office. It actually could be a bedroom because it does have a closet. Um, again, with the beams. One of the prettiest features of this house is really the beams. And then a door to the backyard. Um, actually, to the RV garage. And a coat closet. So... Now, I'm going to go to the other side of the house, which the separation is really nice. Um, but we go to the left, as you come in the front door, is this big living area with the Kiva fireplace. A door to the backyard. You'll see the pool. And then... There's a nicely remodeled bathroom straight ahead of me, um, the shower, double sinks, big linen closet, and a, a toilet. So that bathroom really serves this bedroom, or two bedrooms. So there's one at the end of the hall. And then one here, and the door separates them. So here, nice size walk-in closet in this one. If you can see that too well. Um, then the true master it has a sliding door to the pool, a kiva. Fireplace, beams in here, and a nice large master bath. Um, it actually has double sinks 
a garden, or actually a jutted tub, another sink, and then kind of a what they're using as an exercise room. Toilet. Nice shower. And a very large walk-in closet. So, I am now going to go back through and to the outside. Um, I'm going to go out this. If I, I can't. <laughs> can't get out that door, but I'll go back out through the kitchen, which is the way I've already been. Um, or actually through this door should work. So, that's the living room door out to a shaded patio. It's shaded with one of those canvas cell shades. Um, but you look from here out, you have a built-in grill, um, a pool, a beautiful covered patio with um, brick, more of the lot. Um, <laughs> there's a skeleton in the chair. It's Halloween, and people decorate. Um, this is out the side from the laundry room. This is a two-car garage that is separated from the house. Um, it's full of their stuff that could be used. This is actually a hot tub gazebo. And then the pool equipment. Now, that building is a detached garage, RV garage, great big thing. So I'm going to try and get in. And you will see it is full of stuff, but it's a great big garage. Okay. You, um, I'm gonna, that's the door, um, from the kitchen eating area that I showed you. This is the leaded glass back into the courtyard. And this is the little walkway uh, back to the door to the laundry room. This house has some potential as well. I mean, obviously, you'd have to do some repurposing to make it work for three of you. Or possibly use the detached garage if you could make that into a guest quarters because you have that other big garage. Just thought I'd say that. Um, thank you for letting me tour it for you. Talk to you soon. Bye.